I know you're good. And you know you're good too. You're very talented. And not only that, you are a stone cold fox. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments we found out a singer was a great actor. I got 36 expressions. Sweet as pie to tough as leather. And that six expressions more than all them uh, Barrymore's put together. Come on. For this list, we're looking at the most notable on-screen breakout performances from stars who were known mainly for their musical talent. Which singer wowed you the first time you saw them act? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Janelle Monet, Moonlight. And you know about it, like a star on the screen, watch me tip all on it, then baby, whether I'm high. Monet has been blowing people away with their singing ability since they were a child winning Juneteenth talent contests. But it wasn't until 2016 when they had major roles in not one, but two critically acclaimed dramas that we learned they could act too. Out of all the cases you're gonna hear today, which one is gonna matter 100 years from now? Which one is gonna make you the first? Monet's live-action debut film role was as Teresa, a substitute mother figure to Chiron in the Oscar-winning flick Moonlight. Teresa appears in the moments in Chiron's life when he needs it the most. Monet plays the role with such confidence and poise, it's hard to believe that they haven't been acting on screen professionally for decades. You think you slick too. You gonna do it all wrong so Teresa can come over here and do it right. Mm-hmm. I know what you're doing. Number 9. Whitney Houston, The Bodyguard Houston was one of the greatest voices of her time, and one of the most successful singers of any time. So maybe it shouldn't be a surprise that when she made her feature screen debut playing a renowned singer and actress, she melted right into the role. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Listen, you're so right. <laughs> so right. I want you all to have a good time and drink as much of Ben Shula's liquor as you possibly can. Her character, Rachel, has been getting threats, though she doesn't take them seriously enough. Fortunately, the people around her do, with her manager hiring an ex-Secret Service employee to be her bodyguard. You don't look like a bodyguard. What'd you expect? Well, I don't know, maybe a tough guy? The two start off at odds with each other, but eventually bond. Houston and Kevin Costner might not seem like an obvious pairing, but the two stars have so much chemistry, they made us believe they were really falling for each other. She didn't love me anymore. Can you imagine that? No, not really. Number 8. Ice Cube, Boys in the Hood as one of the original members of N.W.A., Ice Cube's impact on modern rap cannot be overstated. Also known by his birth name, O'Shea Jackson Sr., Cube started rapping in high school. It wasn't too much later that he co-starred in his first film alongside the likes of Cuba Gooding Jr. Either they don't know, don't show, I don't care about what's going on in the hood. As Darren Doughboy Baker, he feels trapped in a cycle of violence in his South Central LA neighborhood. The young Cube showed an incredible amount of maturity in the role. Thus, he proved that he had acting chops to go with his musical talent, kicking off a long and successful career on film. Don't matter though. We all gotta go sometime. Number seven, Mark Wahlberg, Boogie Nights. Guys, I see this thing, it's like this big sign, and the name is in like bright blue neon lights with like purple outline. And this name is just so bright and so sharp that the sign, it just blows up because the name is just so powerful. These days, Wahlberg is so well-known as an actor that young audiences might not even know that his career started in music. But for a few years back in the 90s, he was notably the leader of the hip-hop group Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. During this time, he also gained attention as an underwear model. The Funky Bunch disbanded in 1993, and Wahlberg snagged a few acting roles in film and TV, the bulk of which were relatively minor. However, it arguably wasn't until his breakout playing adult film star Eddie Adams, aka Dirk Diggler in Boogie Nights, that he really got to prove himself on screen. The rest, as they say, is history. I only am who I am because I was born that way. I have a gift and I'm trying to not be selfish about it, but to use it. Number six, Dolly Parton, nine to five. 
After growing up in extreme poverty in Tennessee, Parton made a name for herself as a country music superstar and songwriter at a young age. Your smile is like a breath of spring, your voice is soft like summer rain, and I cannot compete with you. By the time audiences first saw her act in a feature film in 1980, she was used to being on screen on a number of talk and variety shows. Still, this was something new. If you ever say another word about me or make another indecent proposal, I'm going to get that gun of mine, and I'm going to change you from a rooster to a hen with one shot. <laughs> Don't think I can't do it! In the workplace comedy 9 to 5, Parton's Dora Lee and her two co-workers, played by Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin, get revenge on their sexist and overbearing boss. Parton quickly showed that she could hold her own alongside these two silver screen icons. It made us love her even more, and we seriously didn't know that was even possible. She's already got him down, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's see how long it takes her to hog tie this sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. Five seconds, ladies and gentlemen, just five seconds. Number 5. Barbara Streisand, Funny Girl After starting out as a nightclub singer, Streisand transitioned to Broadway musicals, where she quickly made a name for herself. Of course, she soon made waves as a recording artist as well. By 1964, she was starring on stage as comedian Fanny Bryce in Funny Girl, bringing her talents together. Are you sure you can roll a skate? Can I roll a skate? Now, these were the days long before widespread home video and streaming, so the only folks able to witness Streisand's acting prowess were the ones who could see her in person. Until you tried it, so that's my trouble. What's your trouble? I'm a bagel on a plate full of onion rolls. Nobody recognizes me. When Funny Girl was adapted for the screen in 1968, with Streisand once again in the lead, everyone got a chance to appreciate both her incredible voice and her stellar comedic skills. I love talent. And, uh, well, it's hard to quarrel with five curtain calls. Six. Well, there you are. Number four, Cher, Mask. Cher, you want to idle it? Cher, hold it. I mean, that thing's a lethal weapon, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I got it registered. Starting in the mid-60s, Cher was on screen almost constantly. Often, this was in more lighthearted situations, like the Sonny and Cher comedy hour. But the beloved singer also got to show us glimpses of her ability as a dramatic actress in flicks like Silkwood. Her role in 1985's Mask is arguably what brought the full scale of her talent in these more serious roles to the fore. What's the matter? You never saw anybody from the planet Vault turn before? Mom, beep, 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 beep. As biker chick Rusty Dennis, she does her best to provide and care for her child Rocky, who was born with a genetic disorder. The biographic drama is filled with emotional highs and lows, giving Cher the opportunity to put her range on display. And what an impressive range it is. Now you can go anywhere you want, baby. Number 3. Diana Ross, Lady Sings the Blues This Motown legend hasn't accepted many acting opportunities over her career, but when she does take one on, she makes it count and then some. I noticed you're sign in the window and I'm a featured dancer at a club downtown and I don't have much time, but I happen to uh, live in the neighborhood and uh, I'm looking for something a little closer to home. Although her choice to portray jazz singer Billie Holiday was initially met with some skepticism, her showing soon made the critics eat their words. The film itself received mixed reviews, but Ross's performance was almost universally praised, with her ability to capture Holiday's unique sound blowing minds. You know a little bit of old black Joe, don't you, honey, baby? <laughs> no, I, loved, I love to do them all for you. I love to do it for you, but we got something planned here. It was a standout acting debut that showed there's virtually nothing Diana Ross can't do. Surprisingly, the singer has only acted in a handful of feature films, but we will cherish any chance we get to see her on the big screen. We go straight to the top, I know. I don't know if I'm going straight to the top, I'm just trying to get to a club downtown. Number 2. Jennifer Hudson, Dream Girls. You're here because you think you're the next American Idol. Yes, I do. You think you're the best that we can find in America. Yes. American Idol fans knew that Hudson was going to make it big as a singer from the first time she walked into the audition room. Her voice is simply undeniable. Just a few years later, she had an equally impressive acting start portraying Effie White, lead singer of the Dreamettes. Dina's beautiful and she's always been beautiful, but I've got the voice, Curtis, I've got the voice! Hudson's ability to command a scene as she brings her character to life makes it almost hard to believe that this was her first feature film role. In fact, she's such a natural presence on screen, it makes perfect sense that she began hosting her own daytime talk show in 2022. 
Am I doing all right? Yeah, well, look, are you doing OK? Well, you've won an Oscar. <laughs> you've won every award in the world. Uh, you're one of the most famous people in the world. Yeah, you're doing all right. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Aquafina, The Farewell. We didn't expect this raunchy internet rapper to make us cry. I wanted to believe that it was a good thing. But all I saw was fear in your eyes. And I was confused and scared constantly because you never told me what was going on. Tim McGraw, Friday Night Lights. This dark and intense performance seemingly came out of nowhere. Tell me why you can't do it. Just tell me. That's all I want to know. I'll, I'll try better next time. Come on. Hey. Totally. Don't you walk away from me. Don't you walk away from me when I'm talking to you. You hear me? Tell me why you can't hold on to the ball. Mandy Moore, A Walk to Remember. Her transition from pop stardom to teen romance was seamless. I might kiss you. I might be bad at it. <laughs> it's not possible. Reba McIntyre, Reba. How many musicians have gone on to become sitcom stars? I knew this was going to happen. Okay. Honey, I know this has been very confusing for you, so ask me anything you want. Can Brett come over and play on Saturday? <laughs> have I mentioned you're my favorite? Tupac Shakur, Juice. The late rapper's dramatic turn is impressively mature. Look at this. The brother finally decides to stand up like a man and throw down. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Lady Gaga – American Horror Story Hotel when folks think of Lady Gaga and acting, her incredible leading turn in A Star Is Born might come to mind, and for good reason. But audiences might easily have forgotten that the singer's first small screen role in American Horror Story Hotel was also captivating. I'm on a cleanse. Not anymore. As the manipulative vampire the Countess, Gaga has to project decades worth of wisdom through her character. Not only does she pull it off, but she does it with the poise of a veteran actor. This breakout performance even netted her a Golden Globe, which says it all. She also returned to AHS for its sixth season. Gaga has been brilliant in her dramatic role since, and we know there's no part she can't nail. Bend them to thy will, shed their blood, release the power of the blood moon. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.